Hello everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve, and today we're going to do a demo on Netgear's Beamforming Plus technology using the 6300 Plus, the 6200 Plus, and the A6200 USB adapter. Beamforming Plus will make a special connection between Netgear's 802.11ac dual band routers to compatible USB adapters or other compatible devices. In this case, we're going to be doing the demo on the R6300. It'll also work on the R6200. Both routers will need a, a, a firmware update for it to work, but uh, it will work after that. Then you have the A6200 Wi-Fi USB adapter I'll be using today. And let me just show you, we have it already set up. I'm going to plug this into the laptop and we're going to take a walk outside and show you how it works. Okay, let's grab the laptop and go. Right this way, sir. Don't mind the mess. Or the Kyle. So here we are in our lobby. I'll go ahead and click a different link now. As you can see, still brings up everything really quickly. And right now between the A6200 wireless adapter and the R6300 router in our office, it's currently making a, a stronger connection using Beamforming Plus and boosting that signal just to our location as opposed, as opposed to the way it would normally work with a, a standard router. Uh, it would just send it out like a shell, like a spherical um, uh, RF signal going everywhere. In this case, thanks to Netgear, they've set it up to strengthen it between compatible uh, uh, receivers and the transmitter on the other end. Okay, and we're back into the studio now. Just want to show you the Netgear Genie app. Currently I'm using it on iPhone. You can use it on a Droid device if you like. Uh, but let me just point you through a couple of the features on here. Go into the wireless settings. You have some limited changes you can make. The SS SSID name, change the channel or the password for the Wi-Fi. Go back. You can turn your guest access on and off in this particular screen. Take it back out of there. The network map shows you up to five devices at a time on a screen, essentially anything that's currently connected to it. In this case, you can see my iPhone there. Uh, the color of the line indicates the quality of the connection, green being good, red being poor. Also, the dotted line would mean that it's uh, wirelessly connected. And I don't know what purple means, but we're going to skip that anyways. Going right along, we can turn on and off parental controls. I do not have that account, so I'm not going to do that, as well as the traffic meter, which can show you how much traffic your device has been using, or devices in general. And you can see here, set a monthly limit, counter start day, uh, the start time, traffic volume unlimited for me, so I'm not really worried about that. I suppose if you were in maybe Canada or somewhere else, you'd have to worry about this and set this up. Sorry for you Canadians if you have to deal with that. Let me go back here. and go into my media, which currently I don't have anything set up to share, but you could play your music from this device to other devices as well as connect to uh, another device that might be storing the music and share it to this one. So I'll go back, flip over. There's also an integrated QR code scanner if that suits your needs. And this is also open source software. And that wraps up our demo on Netgear's Beamforming Plus. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and click the like button. Otherwise, subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.